on today's menu, a cool recipe you'll absolutely want to make today. Delicious chilled noodle salad. Lei Ho Ma, I'm Will Young from YoungMenCooking.com. Welcome to the channel where you can cook with confidence. This noodle salad is extremely delicious, only needs a few humble ingredients, and it's really easy to put together. Let's begin. Bring a pot of water to boil for the noodles. A splash of toasted sesame oil. A splash of black rice or regular rice vinegar. Two tablespoons soy sauce. This is the amazing chili oil I made in the previous episode and I use this a lot on this cooking show because it really is just lovely. It's not too spicy, really smoky and aromatic and also really easy to put together. I'll leave a link in the description box below where you can check this out and make this really easily at home. One generous tablespoon chili oil. Mix. Slice about 80 grams of cucumber into matchsticks. Quarter of an apple, thinly sliced. About 15 grams of cilantro, chopped. Eight grams, fresh basil. No need to chop the basil up, just need to roughly rip it. Cook the noodles to package instructions. In this episode, I'm using flat, white rice noodles. Stir the noodles occasionally to keep them from sticking. When the noodles are done, strain out the water. Rinse the noodles in cold water. This will keep it from cooking any further. Plate the noodles. Super simple, that's pretty much it. Now you just assemble this incredible noodle salad. Apple slices. Cucumber. Basil. Cilantro. One last thing to take this salad to the next level. Frying pan. Medium heat. Two tablespoons, peanuts. Toast the peanuts for a few minutes. One tablespoon white sesame seeds. Turn the heat off and toss. Top the salad with the delicious peanuts and sesame seeds. Chili oil dressing. You can now enjoy the simple yet delicious salad with absolute confidence. Two hundred and fifty grams of Napa cabbage, finely chopped. Trim. 
transfer the cabbage to a very large mixing bowl. 200 grams of red cabbage, finely chopped. These are beautiful purple heirloom carrots, and of course you don't have to use these ones, you can just use regular carrots. They don't really taste that different, but these are absolutely beautiful. Chop about 100 grams of carrots into thin matchsticks. Chop one Fuji or Gala apple into fine matchsticks. With a little patience and a little bit of practice, you can yield so much more if you slice the apple really, really thin. I mean, this is just one apple. That is incredible. Two sticks green onion, finely chopped. Squeeze out the water of about 120 grams of jackfruit. Flake the jackfruit into the slaw. Twenty grams fresh mint. Half a cup edamame. That's basically the slaw. We're just gonna make a simple but delicious dressing to go along with that and you're good to go. Now this recipe is actually the first recipe in the new cookbook simply titled Cook with Confidence. And this book has most of your favorite recipes from the cooking show here on YouTube. To find out more information, get your signed copy, or to take a sneak peek of inside the book, you can check out the link in the description box below. Let's make that incredible dressing. Blender. Third cup, peanut butter. Small piece ginger. Three tablespoons, soy sauce. One tablespoon cane sugar. Two tablespoons olive oil. Half a cup coconut milk. One teaspoon chili powder. Splash of lime juice. Blend on high until completely smooth. Pour the amazing dressing onto the slaw and toss. Plate.
that already looks and smells just amazing. But there's one more thing we can do that will next level this frying pan. Medium heat. Half cup peanuts. Toast the peanuts for three to four minutes. Top the slaw with some toasted peanuts. You can now serve this flavor-packed slaw with absolute confidence. Roughly chop about 150 grams of watercress. Be sure to use a large mixing bowl as you'll be adding more ingredients to it. Roughly chop about 100 grams of black kale leaves. So that's basically the body of the salad. Now we're just gonna add some delicious aromatic herbs. 15 grams mint. 15 grams Thai basil. One cup edamame. Half of a red bell pepper diced. Right, so recently a local grocery store here started carrying these heirloom, beautiful, colorful organic carrots and they've priced them about the same price as the regular organic carrots so I've been on a bit of a heirloom carrot kick, so you will, and since every time we cook together is a special occasion, figured why not use these amazing, beautiful, purple heirloom carrots. But of course you can use whatever carrots that you have on hand. Chop one carrot into thin matchsticks. Chop one apple into thin matchsticks. In this episode, I'm using a delicious gala apple. One teaspoon salt, 
pepper. Three tablespoons lime juice. Two tablespoons olive oil. Almost forgot, a little bit of cane sugar for a little bit of sweetness. One teaspoon cane sugar. Give the dressing a good shake and pour into the salad. Mix. Plate. Man, that salad already looks incredibly beautiful, but this is going to give it that extra bit of finesse. Frying pan. Medium heat. One cup, peanuts. Toast the peanuts for two to three minutes. Top your salad with some toasted peanuts and set the rest aside. You can now make this refreshing but flavor-packed salad with absolute confidence. Man, I cannot wait to dig into this. Look at that. Man, that is so, it's incredible how casual, how simple, how humble this is, but it's just incredibly packed with flavor. It has that contrast from the incredible body of the salad, which is the watercress, which adds this incredible freshness to it. And you get the meatiness and the deep dark flavor of that black kale. And then it contrasts with the sweetness of the apple and adds that little bit of freshness as well and the crunchiness of the carrots, the crunchiness of the toasted peanuts that add that little bit of toasty flavor. And of course, the aromatic, incredible flavor from the mints, the Thai basil, and the little bit of sweetness from that red bell pepper. Everything just works so well in harmony and really complements that delicious, simple, humble dressing. The little vinaigrette that we made with the little bit of saltiness, a little bit of pepperiness, and of course, a little sweetness, as well as that tanginess from the fresh lime juice. Really, really delicious. This is so beautiful to visually just to look at because of all the colors. And of course, super easy to put together. I can definitely sit down with a big plate of this and definitely have a great time. Incredible. Absolutely love when dishes are just so simple to put together and yet they look literally like restaurant quality. You just turned your kitchen into a restaurant type of thing. Absolutely amazing. By the way, if you're new to the channel, welcome. I'm glad you're here. Be sure to check out the link in the description box below to pick up your free ebook as well as to check out and watch the entire first class of that plant-based sushi making masterclass. And that is a five class series designed and curated to help you make incredibly delicious, stunning sushi right at home. And that is the masterclass that you'll really eat up. Of course, as always, remember to subscribe, hit that notification bell so you won't miss a single episode.